Hello, this is Langai64 and a long while ago I've released a short lame bits video about a PS2 mouse to serial mouse adapter uh, using an Arduino Leonardo and a few uh, off-the-shelf components uh, to basically convert a PS2 mouse into a Microsoft or Logitech compatible serial mouse uh, to be used ideally with a vintage computer that lacks uh, PS2 ports such as this 386 over here. And the reason why it took me so long to make this video, uh, especially by the fact that uh, behind the scenes I actually got the uh, converter done uh, shortly after I released the video, but I didn't feel like doing a update video of it or a proper video of it either uh, until I get the finished version of the adapter completed, which uh, I wasn't able to do for a while because I was waiting for parts that I need to make the finished version, and the parts being Arduino Nanos. And uh, and basically, and basically, I had to wait things out and until I have the parts to, uh, until, until I have the finished version of the adapter done, and also find the, and the time to do a video of it. And the adapter, ver uh, the completed version of the adapter is this one. Uh, this gray wire over here connects to the per uh, COM one of my 386. And this one here connects to the to a PS2 mouse. Any uh, standard PS2 mouse will do, such as this uh, generic Genius optical mouse. And also, and so yeah. And then there are also some few uh, components here to uh, for getting the Arduino to communicate with the 386's serial interface. And here's the Arduino nanos that I had to wait for a while to. Uh, arrive in my mail uh, uh, to be able to make a finished version of this adapter. So yeah, and the adapter actually works quite well. As you can see, I have Windows 3.11 running, and I'm holding the mouse right over here. I can move the cursor, and as you can see, the cursor moves around. Well, probably not see because it's all bloom there. Uh, but I can drag the Windows so you can at least see that I can. Uh, move and click with the PS2 mouse uh, uh, on, a, on on this using this adapter. So yeah, it actually works uh, as a serial mouse, and it works really well, in fact. Um, so yeah, and the reason why I wanted to make to do this adapter was uh, not only because I thought it'd be a fun project to dabble into, but I also wanted to have a mouse that's much better than. Uh, uh, only serial, uh, one of the few serial mouse I have. Currently, I only have I have this uh, generic key mouse mouse, but I also have a genius mouse. But uh, both of them are actually pretty uh, jittery uh, to work with. The mouse cursor is not uh, doesn't move as smoothly as an optical one, and also people tend to prefer uh, sticking to just uh, optical mice when uh, playing um, DOS games that uh, utilize a mouse. So not only is this a very good alternative to a to a serial mouse, but it's also a superior alternative uh, because well, it's an optical mouse, and uh, optical mouse is far more superior, superior and more accurate than a traditional mechanical mouse. So uh, I'm going to uh, show off the hardware and uh, uh, show the, and also talk about uh, how it's uh, put together. Uh, the serial mouse protocol and also going to be playing demonstrating some DOS games being played with this adapter and also with my uh, no name key mouse mouse uh, as a comparison and also comment about the accuracy differences so yeah um, let's uh, get right into this uh, adapter shall we so here's the adapter itself in all its amateur glory this little pin header on the right would go to a female PS2 connector where you'd connect your PS2 mouse into. This little blue board is an Arduino Nano attached on a dip socket and is responsible for doing the bulk of the conversion. Above it are some discrete components to get the Arduino to safely interface with a PC serial port and this gray cable goes to a female DB9 connector which goes to a PC serial port. Look at all this dodgy soldering and wiring down here. But hey, it works! Here's the circuit diagram of the converter. There isn't much in the way of components as the bulk of the conversion work is done by the Arduino. 
A 74LS00, which is a quad NAND gate, is used to invert the logic levels of the Arduino serial OR to make it compatible with the PC serial port. I didn't use something like a MAX232 since 5 volts is enough to drive the serial port. In fact, most serial mice run at 5 volt logic levels instead of 12 volts, and sticking with common components would make this electronics project more accessible as not everyone, including me, can acquire MAX232s easily. A 7805 voltage regulator is used to drop the 12 volts from the RTS pin of the serial port down to 5 volts along with a 100 ohm resistor so the Arduino can detect if the RTS pin is low or high. So the converter can send a detection byte for the mouse driver to recognize the converter as a serial mouse. I didn't use the RTS and DTR pins for power because they don't provide enough current to power the converter. The Arduino code and schematic for this converter project can be found in my GitHub linked down in the description. A serial mouse is wired to the PC as such. The pins used are RXD for data at 1200 baud, 7 data bits, 1 stop bit, and no parity. RTS is used for detection and power, DTR is used for additional power, and finally, ground. When a serial mouse driver looks for a mouse, it sets the RTS pin of the serial port to low, then high, which will cause the serial mouse to send the letter M for Microsoft Serial Mice to indicate the presence of a mouse. 3 button Logitech mouse will output a number 3, 63 milliseconds after sending an M. When the mouse is moved or clicked, it will output a 3 byte packet containing information about the buttons and mouse movement in the format shown above. Because the mouse outputs 3 byte packets at 1200 baud, pretty much all serial mice are limited to around 40 reports per second. I have read that some higher end mice can output at higher rates enabled by sending special characters to the mouse but I have not encountered such mice so far, if they even exist to begin with. The last bit of each byte is used for synchronization and the first byte of each packet always has this bit set while the rest have it zero. Middle button status is sent by sending a packet where all the button and movement values are set zero whenever the middle button is pressed and released. The state of the middle button is all done by the mouse driver. The Logitech mouse protocol uses pretty much the same format as the Microsoft protocol but it sends an additional fourth byte for the state of the middle mouse and this byte is only sent when the middle button is pressed, held and released. The fourth byte is also used to send scroll wheel information for serial mice that feature a scroll wheel. I use the Microsoft protocol in my converter which I'll explain why in a bit. What my converter essentially does is that it reads the PS2 mouse which uses an entirely different protocol and then translates it to serial mouse protocol. While there have been PS2 mice that can work as a serial mouse via a simple passive adapter, pretty much all modern PS2 mice, especially the optical ones, do not work with that, so an adapter like this is pretty much needed. Okay, I'm going to connect my adapter to my 386. Hooking this up should be pretty straightforward. Powering up the adapter will make the L13 LED blink 4 times, which indicates that the adapter has detected a PS2 mouse and is ready to go. Now to power up my 3D6 PC and boot into DOS. Alright, cute mouse detects it as a Microsoft mouse. Loading up edit to see if it really works. Well enough, it works beautifully. Now I'm going to play some Wolfenstein 3D with the mechanical key mouse serial mouse for comparison.
During my time with it, accuracy isn't exactly great with this mouse. Movement tends to drift for a bit when doing fast movements and finer movements tend to not register apparent when I make a dash for the door only to bump onto a wall. Overall, it's not exactly great for accuracy, but since this is a cheap no-name mouse, I imagine higher quality ones from reputable brands would perform much better than this thing. Now to play with an optical PS2 mouse using my adapter. Oh wow, it works really great and it feels a lot better than the mechanical key mouse mouse and it shows. I had absolutely no trouble going around and popping out Nazis in this game. Definitely improves the experience. Loading up Windows 3.11 to see if my adapter works with it as well and sure enough it does. At this point my adapter should work with any device and operating system that supports Microsoft Serial Mice. This vector illustration which I actually drew on this very 386 for some dumb reason would have not been possible for me to do without this adapter. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much uh, all there is to it, my PS2 to Serial Mouse uh, adapter project which uh, turned out to be quite a success in the end and it actually performs really well for its uh, intended purpose. Uh, the only issue I have with the adapter uh, right now is that there's actually a small amount of input lag uh, likely due to the Atmega MCU not being fast enough uh, to uh, because it's doing uh, quite a bit it, it needs to like uh, pour uh, PS2 data through bit banging and then and then send it through the hardware UART if, if, if the Arduino's hardware UART supports asynchronous uh, sending that will make things uh, a bit less laggy but apparently it doesn't so, also that also explains why I chose to use the Microsoft uh, mouse protocol instead of the Logitech one. Is because with the Microsoft protocol one, you always send 3 byte packets regardless. While the Logitech one, you have to send 4 byte packets whenever the mo middle mouse button is being uh, used. Uh, the problem with that is when I send four start sending 4 byte packets, the mouse input becomes very laggy and uh, choppies and there and there's no other way around that problem other than to hope for a future Arduino uh, module that will perform much faster than the existing ones uh, so I opted to just switch to uh, Microsoft Protocol instead plus it's more compatible with uh, more friendlier with uh, with uh, mouse drivers that are not compli uh, that are not three mouse button compliant so there's that um, I also don't plan on implementing uh, mouse wheel support uh, because uh, the PS2 mouse uh, library I'm using to pull the uh, PS2 mouse inputs uh, does not support the wheel for some reason. And also it will cause additional lag from all the additional code needed to um, uh, handle all that. So yeah, I don't think it's really worth it anyway. It's not like um, DOS, most DOS applications and even Wind uh, earlier versions of Windows supported anyway. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, if you're capable of making uh, devices based on Arduinos, uh, feel free to make your own uh, PS2 to serial mouse converter. Uh, it's pretty much open source hardware, all you need is just an Arduino and some uh, off-the-shelf components that should be a piece of cake uh, to acquire. So yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this video and also my 386 has been off uh, throughout this uh, part of the video because the power supply of this thing has been uh, getting a bit uh, flaky and i am somewhat uh, become concerned about the uh, issues I've been having with it. Uh, basically what happens is while I'm using the 386 like normal, sometimes it will abruptly power off even though the switch is off, on and there's still power being fed to the computer. But the power supply is making like a like a like a wheezing sound, like and then when I turn off the computer, the lights flash after like a second or two. So yeah, that's uh, quite a bit concerning for me. I'm afraid the power supply might go kaboom and it'll take out the whole 386 and 
everything connected to the power supply essentially. So I'm keeping this off for a while until I can uh, get work around uh, reca perhaps recapping the power supply or just replacing it all together uh, eventually. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and and like, comment, or share if you want. And as always, thanks for watching. Hangai64 is signing out and have a good day.